my god, he did it again. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video tutorial on Mixcraft Pro Studio 9. My name is Taylor Crom. And if you want to know more about Mixcraft Pro Studio 9, then hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, and turn on that bell. I posted a uh, a community post the other day asking if you'd want to see more, if you want to see a video of delay tricks or, or reverb tricks. And reverb tricks got more votes, so I'm going to show you a couple of reverb tricks to make your reverb sound better and make them sit well in the mix. Now, the song that I got pulled up right here is a song that is going to be on my up coming album this is called warm room and this is called best friend and right now i'm just going to play you so watch well, I'll, I'll play you with with all the context on so you can hear everything show you what it sounds like with the effects on and then we'll go over it little by little all right so this is it When I wake up, I've been feeling numb all the time When I wake up, I don't want this life that is mine It's been getting harder to write Making music been my whole life I'm praying up to God for some light Cause I'm walking all alone through the night I got demons on my back and they talking to me the devil in my head, he been fucking with me. All right, so as you can hear, I got delays going, reverbs going. I got some higher sounding vocals going behind. Then I also got some some ad libs and doubles going on behind the vocals too. So there's actually quite a lot going on. But if you've watched my videos before, then you know that I am a simple man and I like simple music. Like not not so much like simple music, but I think less is more when it comes to to songs i don't think that you need a whole bunch of stuff going on i mean unless you're like going to be an edm or pop or want some kind of crazy high energy shit going on i just like simple songs better that get the point across and it leaves more room for vocals so you can play around with reverbs and delays and harmonies and have more fun with uh with mixing with mixing the vocals so that's why i like simplicity and I highly believe in less is more now let's go over this. I'm gonna mute the highs and the reverb and delays. I'm gonna solo the vocals real quick. So this is what we got. When I wake up, I've been feeling numb all the time. When I wake up, I don't want this life that is mine. And I have a reverb track directly on the backing vocals, so that's why I hear reverb right there. But I'm gonna show you the reverb that I got on my send track and how I mix that into it. <clears throat> so let's just keep the lead vocals uh, soloed here. I'll turn on the reverb. When I wake up, I've been feeling numb all the time. So it's definitely, um, you can hear a lot of high end in the reverb and sometimes that works good in the songs and sometimes it doesn't but sometimes you need that high end in order to cut through and really create the the depth of space in the song and i used rverb which is another waves plugin also if you want 10 percent off a waves order then go down into the description and there will be a coupon that you can use if you go buy a waves product so use that link down there um and I have it on <clears throat> a haul, but as you can see, I have the time going quite a bit, obviously. I've been feeling numb all the time. So it tails out for a while. I really like that space, that spacious shit. Um, I cut out a lot of the low end and boosted a little bit of the high end. That's just like the, the equalizer within the reverb plugin, but I also add another equalizer outside of that right here. And what I've noticed with the reverbs, to make them really push through and sound good in a track, it's good to cut off the high end and low end, which I know sounds weird because I was just talking about how I have like a lot of high end in it, but I have it chopped off and I just have, it's a, I'm kind of fooling you. It's not actually high end going on. Like, like right here, as you can see with this three band right here, I actually have this boosted 
at, you know, just a little past 1K. And it's giving that illusion that, you know, it's this really high frequency, but it's it's not. It's not going to hurt your ears or anything. It's just going to help the reverb cut through the mix a little bit. And with the reverb, you want to, when you're balancing reverb with vocals, you can either have the reverb sitting in the same frequencies as the vocals, or you can boost a little bit in the reverb where you cut out from the vocals or vice versa to make it balance out and be cohesive and, and shine through together. Like, like right here, let's see, let's see how I have my equalizers cutting. So let's have a cut at 500 and a cut around 200 and over here, got another cut at 500. So I didn't do any boosting or cutting it around 1K, um, which means that it still works boosting the reverb at 1K, almost 2K, honestly. And 2K is a very touchy frequency to mess around with because that shit can sound bad if you use it wrong. And another thing that I like to do with reverb is sometimes I'll add a doubler on it, which will make it wider. There's a couple ways you can do this. You know, you can use any doubler. This, this is just the one that I use. And I'll take out the direct input so it's only on the sides. Yeah, right, let's turn those up real quick, turn these off. And so this is without the doubler. When I wake up, this is with. I've been feeling numb all the time. When I wake up, I don't want this life that is mine. It's subtle, but it makes it wider. And sometimes it's it's better to do that in a mix, but not all the time. It just depends. Whatever you're feeling. Or you can use a stereo imager. That'll pretty much do the same thing. Um let's see here so with this you know like if i do that where it's just straight down the middle that's just turning it into mono essentially when i wake up i've been feeling numb all the time just making it sound like that that reverb room is like this fucking big and just goes straight down this narrow narrow hallway <clears throat> then you know you can widen it and make it super wide like breaking through the walls kind of wide when I wake up, I've been feeling numb all the time. When I wake up, I don't want this life that is mine. It's been getting harder to wake There's a lot of cool things that you can do with reverb, and I really suggest that you just play around with it. Don't be don't be afraid of something sounding bad, because sometimes you gotta make shit sound a little bad to really get to the good stuff, you know? And if it doesn't sound good and you don't like it, then you don't got to drop it, show it to nobody, or release it. Just keep on fiddling around with it until you get something you like. You can add all sorts of shit on reverb. Do not be afraid to really mess around with the reverb and do some outlandish shit. Don't be afraid to do that at all because you'll be absolutely amazed at what you come up with. So I highly recommend doing that. Be creative. Don't let things hold you back. Don't limit yourself. Just get fucking wild with it, man. Do crazy shit. That's how you break barriers. That's how you come up with new things. Like right now, I just it, it's simple, but it, it works. Uh, we'll just do the reverb. And I'll mute this one. I don't want this life that is mine. Been getting harder to write. See, just the beat and how the song is, just how I have that reverb helps it cut through. And I really wanted you to feel it, but I didn't want the reverb to be overwhelming. So that's why I boosted it almost 2K. It's a little below 2K. So I just wanted it to cut through, but I don't... I want you to hear it a little bit more than feel it in this case. Or sometimes I want you to feel it more than hear it. Um, shit, while we're at it, I'll, I'll show you what I did with the delays too. And I got some little harmonies. Well, not harmonies, but I got some some more illusions going on down here. Like when you listen to I don't want this life that is mine. Sounds like I'm singing behind it, you know, like I'm doing a, a higher octave behind it, but I'm not. <laughs> not even me. What I did with that is I just added auto-tune plugin. 
I don't want this life that is mine. So I got auto tune up here and I transposed it all the way up to 12. So it's literally a whole octave up. Um, I think that's all I did here. That's all I did with the auto tune. But then I brought in a nice little driver plugin to give it some distortion. Crank that distortion all the way up. Added a filter onto it to low pass it. Um, so, you know, like it sounds like it's down in the depths. Added a doubler. Make that bitch wide as fuck. Make it sound big. And then a reverb. Added its own reverb onto there instead of using the one that I have on the send track. Now, in some cases, it is better to use one reverb for the whole track so it you know sounds like it's in the same place but i like getting creative and sometimes it just doesn't work for me so you know on on the highs that are singing behind the vocals which nothing's actually singing like i said it's just an illusion it's auto-tune i have its own reverb on there doing its own thing and it sounds good it makes it stand out makes it sound like it's in its own space and i like that personally so that's what i did with that I don't want this life that is mine. It helps it cut through more. Um, then the delays, you'll hear the delays in here. It's been getting harder to write. I got them just ping ponging away, going ape shit. Literally, I got the feedback kind of high up, so it goes for a little bit. Got the BPM you know, sync to it, and it's at one-eighth notes and ping-pong and just going nutty. And I got an equalizer on there, chop off the high end, chopped off the low end, cut down to 500, so it's still kind of sitting in the same frequency as the vocals. And that's all I did with that. So nothing too special. Like I said, it's simple stuff, but it's effective. But if you want to do it, if you want to go ape shit and you just want to make some crazy shit, go for it. I'm telling you, you will be amazed at what comes out of things that you just try and stretch to the limits it's amazing so and with that you get this when i wake up i've been feeling numb all the time when i wake up i don't want this life that is mine it's been getting harder to write making music by my whole life i'm praying up to god for some light Cause I'm walking all alone through the night I got demons on my back and they talking to me The devil in my head, he been fucking with me He told me he got something he know I love to see He told me he can help me be who I wanna be he Wanna be my best friend If you guys wanna hear the full song oh, I'm really thinking about just adding it on to the end of this video I'll add, I'll add a clip of it onto this video. And if the if the full song is on the end of this video, then I lied and you know made a split decision at the end of the edit. But um, yeah, be looking out for my album coming out. Um, I do have a YouTube music channel. It's just Taylor Crom, so go search for that. It's me in this little astronaut cartoon. So yeah, I hope this guy. I hope this helped you guys, and I hope it you know can show you what someone else is doing and you can start you like use that as a ground zero for your own mix and try that and then take it wherever you want to go like i said go ape shit with it bro do crazy stuff i'd love to hear your music um you know don't leak it in the comments because it'll see that as spam but you know email taylorcromofficial at gmail.com and shoot me the mixes that you're doing um i'm thinking about doing something here soon where you send me your your projects for your songs and the audio files with it and i fix your mixes and make videos out of it if you guys would like to see that then let me know because i think that'd be fun uh, might even make some beats and have some mixed craft artists hop on it just a whole bunch of video ideas for the future so i'm excited to uh see which one of those i'll execute so i hope this helped you guys um thank you for being here like i said hit that subscribe button turn on the bell comment down below give it a like i always engage back love you guys i'll see you later